clutch plays. We've seen it so often against Zero the past year. Uh, fantastic, fantastic player. So Dom definitely does have his work cut out for him. But, you know, the pools were announced a while ago. Dom had some opportunity to think about it. And he's already got himself a pretty nice opening, getting 33%. Yep. Getting himself a little bit of a juggle started, but now it's Salem's turn. Yeah, and uh, this uh, matchup can be kind of difficult for ZSS just because, like, especially at the higher percentage, she can be pretty committal when trying to fight a character like Bayonetta, and that's exactly what she wants to do is, like, put you in a high committal situation and then get a big punish off of it, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, drop shields at the wrong time. There's a timing mix up on that flip kick. Very smart for Dom so far. Salem constantly looking to close this gap right now. He's definitely feeling a lot of momentum. Wow, and Dom actually doing a pretty good job of keeping control at the ledge. Got to go for the ledge drop into the uh, boost kick. Doesn't work. Oh, but gets the... Yeah, the boost, boost kick, kick as, a, as a counter hit to deal with the dash attack that Salem was putting on the line. Salem right now playing extremely uh, aggressively. I mean, now he's, uh, he's absolutely obligated to because he does have that deficit. Uh, wow. But he's getting scooped up for it really consistently by Dom. Wow, just another grab, able to get that. Oh, oh Dom finding himself. Okay, that boost kick not connecting. Yeah, Bayonetta, one of the characters that falls out of uh, boost kick relatively easily. That's another thing that's kind of difficult in this matchup, too. So oh, that. that's a solid punish to the flip kick. Oh, oh. Not, not enough to kill, actually. So Dom's going to be surviving, but the lasting up air uh, is going to be able to take him off the side. That is a hard move to get around because it does uh, last for so long. Okay, just a wish time. Let's see what he tries to do here. Oh, so. very good SDI by uh, Dom actually falling it right off the bottom. He's not going to go for it. No, he's just going to go for the double up there. Okay. Catches him on the landing with the ABK, but again, the SDI is out. He just falls out. Dom keeping that jab pressure going. Waiting for the landing. Doesn't find it. Backing out of that situation entirely. Salem still looking to apply more active pressure right now. I think he recognizes uh, how dangerous it can be to let... Uh, Zero suit dictate the entire pace of the match, which is right. the reason why he's not giving uh, Dom that much room to breathe. Uh, but Dom's doing a pretty good job playing on the more defensive route instead. Oh, just air dodges right through it. Just one good back here is all uh, Dom needs right now. Or the down smash gets a little bit too greedy, hoping that the frame one jab will be able to catch. Into the up air, not going to find it. Uh, Dom managing the SDI out of that second wish twist. I think Dom was a little bit scared of like the falling wish time as Salem was going down to the ground, so he decided not to challenge it as uh, he was going to the ledge. Very smart that time around. And here we are actually at a last hit situation. Salem at the ledge. I feel like a wish time is going to come out as soon as he tries to get the back air. I, I can just feel it happening. We're seeing a little bit less bold play by, uh, by Salem. He's not doing the run-up dash attacks and dash grabs that we saw in the beginning of the game. Actually, a lot more empty hopping and stuff. Uh, implementation of the aerial game that uh, Bayonetta has. It's so powerful. But there we go, the down smash, catching Salem and Dom, ending it with that boost kick, taking the first game. Man, I was scared. I thought he was going to pop out of the boost kick or something with all that rage, but he was able to very solidly connect it. And yeah, he's taking the first game. Yeah. So maybe we're in the views of an upset. That, that was relatively close, but... Uh, we'll the thing about happens. Salem is he's got a really strong download game. Uh, <laughs> I haven't compensated for a lot of would-be upsets that don't actually become upsets. Oh, okay. Like, I have, I have a lot of experience with him being able to, to process what has happened and pull it all together. But this is still an incredibly promising start by Dom. Okay. Maybe to take that first game. <gasps> that is the least promising start for a second game. Oh, man, that's rough. <laughs> that is... That feels bad. Maybe that, maybe that, maybe it's you. Maybe you're the reason why these upsets don't happen. Because when I commentate matches, uh, upsets happen all the time. <laughs> I don't understand. What I just did, like, the commentary curse should be Dom takes this second game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Okay, anyways. So, I mean, Salem has a lot more room to work with. So that's unfortunate for Dom. Uh, let's see if he can potentially bring this back. I mean, GSS is an explosive character. It's just hard to get that kind of stuff on a character like Bayonetta. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now, though, uh, Salem is riding the momentum all the way to the bank, already on nearly 120%. I mean, he got it all in nearly a single advantage today, too. Going to be running up, being able to block that there. Salem looking to cover this recovery. Goes for a uh, trumpet, looks like, but not able to find it. Oh, oh wow. there we go. Double That's the clean stuff. Yeah. yeah. That was really nice right there. Um, I think Salem just needed an ounce of confidence, and that probably came from that SD. And because he just like rolled and steamrolled him right there. Yeah. And I also have to wor worry whether or not that SD caused uh, some mental damage to Dom as well. Yeah. It's like 
going going from like that that high of like okay cool like took the first game against like the Evo champion into immediate SD uh, that can be quite a dip. So. Yeah, that was unfortunate. But he's going to be going to uh, Town and City. Uh, I, I wonder whether uh, Triplast was banned, because I know that is one of Salem's favorite stages, but I know ZSS is very formidable there. Meanwhile, the lower ceiling here going to help primarily uh, Dom close out early. Socks. oh, he got the air dodge on the platform, but wasn't able to convert off that. Yeah, that was a bit unfortunate, because especially on that top platform, he could have potentially just carried him all the way to the top. Maybe didn't even need the last bit of boost kick. Uh, oh. And the, the boost kick very far from the stage. Yeah, Salem. Being able to get that edge guard together, making sure that double jump was in there, and uh, looking extremely powerful now. Oh, just able to follow up and just catch that air dodge and pop out. Gets himself a back air, and just like that, Dom on his last legs on this stock. Oh, just catches that Getting the footstool, but the platform gets in the way of the down air. That would have been curtains otherwise. Wow! Single hit of forward air, recognizing the tumble spin and knowing that the forward smash would be able to connect for sure. Salem taking that so decisively in games two and three. Yeah. I mean, yeah, at least he, he took the game off, but I don't know what happened, man. It's just maybe he just used all his energy on that first game, and then this guy wasn't able to quite bring that back after that SD, you know? So. I, I think a part of it also was uh, Salem getting so much information from that first game in terms of how to apply that pressure once he got in. Yeah. Because he really only won neutral like twice for each stock. He just juggled so effectively from there and edge guarded so, so well that uh, there wasn't really much time for Dom to play that RPS game, yeah. right? And get to do his own punishes. He won both games at like around 40%. Yeah. Very, I mean, very powerful. I mean, that's what I